In this video, we're going to look at Florida. Uh, second part of those guys running power. In this video, we're going to look at them running power with their quarterback. Uh, not quite as often as they ran it with uh, Tebow when he was there, but they did it a lot in short yard situations, and they really like to do it with the tight end to the strong side. Right here against Missouri, third and one situation. You can see they're in a trip set over here, manned up. They're going to throw in a little bit of screen over there, which is a little bit of RPO. Uh, and what they're going to end up doing is just block down. Everybody blocks down right here on this play, and typically on power, pulling for the first linebacker in the box, really the only linebacker in the box. And this running back turns into the fullback. He's going to block that D gap player, hopefully kicking out so they can go vertical. Uh, but we'll look at it right here. Obviously, all these guys walk down into the box, so it just basically turns into a zone. Everybody's going to have their inside gap. Even this linebacker steps down a little bit tighter, so that guard's going to be able to down block to him right there. Down block, down block. He's going to kick right there. Then we got a puller basically for this safety gap hinge. Leave the widest guy right there if he comes into the B gap. And right here, pretty, pretty play right there, creating a wall, getting right there to the backer. Here comes the kick. He jumps outside. Obviously, he's a, a D gap defender, wants to turn everything back. Probably should have squeezed that a little bit more. Brought it to him and trying to condense that hole just a little bit so it's not as wide. You can always get back out right there, especially with uh, the quarterback running the ball. A lot of times you're going to be able to run that guy down. The safety's feeling right here, but obviously this guard's coming to kick. And uh, right there, beautiful play, creating a wall. Got a guy to kick the safety right there, and they're off to the races. From the end zone view, it's even better. You can see these guys are slanting to their inside gap. Backers walk down. He gets just a piece of them, and then he tries to flow over the top right there, was not able to get there. And we'll look at this running back. Again, he's coming tight to that tight end, and he's going to kick with his outside shoulder. He widens, and he ends up kicking him out. One thing about this that you're always going to want to do with the quarterback to allow that guard to get around, a little bit of a timing step. His eyes go over there just to kind of hold those guys. Leaving the widest guy, he's never going to get there unless he's going extremely flat. And in that case, a lot of times you can run some different things over there to take advantage of it, maybe some speed option and stuff like that if he's going real flat. But right there, really good down block by that tight end. Cuts off penetration, allows that guard to get around. He's going to kick that safety. And now Kyle Trask is out in the open right there on a third and one. Here's another look right here from Florida running against Missouri in the same quarter, but later in the game. A little bit different look here from Missouri. Uh, these guys right here, he's manned up on that uh, tight end. You can see he's going to his inside gap. He'd go to that linebacker if this guy wouldn't squeeze down on him. Uh, inside gap, inside gap, first on the back side. Gap, he's going to give a stick right there to allow the center to get there, and then he's going to hinge back, pulling for the only linebacker in the box, and then here's the safety that's going to fill that alley. Right here's the D gap for the running back to kick. The one difference was this guy, I think, was a little bit tighter. He's a little bit tighter. He came to the B gap, so he took him. And then there's an the edge guy right there. And this linebacker had walked down into the box. So a little bit different look, but pretty much the same result. Again, going to create a wall, pulling right there for the first linebacker. Does a good job right there. He's going down. And once he gets pressure right there, he goes vertical into him. And then he ends up taking him because he's just manned up on him, which is really uh, he's probably trying to take two for one right there if you go get that linebacker cool. If not, go vertical into that guy and take him right here. This guy actually tries to squeeze a little bit. He ends up going airborne over the top, trying to make a play, uh, but obviously didn't able to get there. Here's the guard. Great job coming to balance right there. Kicks him. You would think with this safety rolling down, knowing that there's safety help, this linebacker, you'd want to you want to scrape and you'd want to uh, rip to the inside right there on that guard. So rip to the inside, make that bounce, and let that safety have an easier angle right there to try to make a play. Right there, he goes outside, which screws up this guy's fit. And now Kyle Trask is running in space. He All he has is, is to dive, and you're never going to get a tackle Kyle Trask like that. So uh, right there, kind of a messed up fit right there with that linebacker. Uh, but again, creating a wall right there with the O-line, then getting that guard around, kicking the D-gap with that running back for a big play. On a, on a fourth and one right here against Missouri. This look right here is a little bit different. Florida's got their backup quarterback in, and typically they bring him in so that he can run and get extra numbers in the box. This is against Georgia, and they actually started off in empty. This running back, he's motioning back uh, to his typical running back spot. You can see him, he's getting set right there. And they've got a tight end, three receivers over here to this side. They're gonna run quarterback power over here. The only thing that's really different is that this tight end, instead of down blocking, which typically he would be inside gap to the near backer, is he's going to be the c -app player, and he's going to block out right there. Now they get uh, two guys in the hole as far as the running backs leading up to that corner. 
and you have that guard pulling around for that play side linebacker. We'll play it right here and see exactly what takes place. Again, they're getting a really good double team. Over here is the linebacker that they're working to, so they know, hey, mash this guy. If he even gets into the play, it's going to be really late, so make sure we get movement here. Get 600 pounds on him right there. Uh, here's the tight end blocking out on that nine technique in that three front. Here's the square pull for the first linebacker, and there's the running back filling in through that C gap for that linebacker. Uh, and again, right there, you see the quarterback, he gives a little bit of a fake. He's looking over there to the trips, and then he pulls it, and he's going to the left right there behind those pullers. There's the running back in his play side shoulder, back side shoulder right there, so he can get vertical for a big play. This look, Florida's in a trip set over to the right, and they've also got their tight end over there on that side, so an unbalanced look right here from Ole Miss. With outside backers down pretty tight, so this tight end, he's actually going to have an inside gap to near linebacker. He's going to go down. Again, everybody's creating a wall. He's going all the way back to that gap hinge. going to give a little bit of a hand to that three technique or four eye, whatever you want to call it. And then he's going to come right here, block the D gap, take care of that guy with his play side shoulder, trying to kick him out. He's going to roll for the first linebacker in the box. Ends up being a safety that rolls down. Again, hopefully putting your play side shoulder right there. He's going over the top, which is great. Uh, four yards right there without any contact. And then the quarterback's able to make another five or six there to get the first down really good play right there uh, for Florida again only six or seven yards but a little bit unbalanced and being physical right there making those guys try to get more more numbers into the box for the quarterback run another unbalanced sent here for Florida three receivers to the left tight end over here and actually check to this play right here and you'd think this would be a really big play running some power that direction with the tailback obviously leading for the D gap inside gap to the first linebacker inside all the way over there on the back side of the ball but right here uh, we'll play and see exactly what takes place again he's back down you're gonna get a good double right there because again you know you have a long ways to go for that linebacker so go ahead and get a good piece of him really good double team getting some big bodies right there there's a running back going to kick here's the guard pulling in there you think this is going to be a really good play uh, i think he's going down trying to take away that screen which could have been an obvious RPO right there. Uh, he feels inside out. Here's a safety rolling down there. You got a, a guard pulling in. He could kick right there, depending on who he sees. Uh, he sees that late. Turns back. Surprisingly, this is only about five yards. Uh, whenever you stop this before the play was snapped, you would think, hey man, if they run power to the left, it's going to be a real big play. But Arkansas does a pretty good job of rallying and getting bodies to it and leverage, leveraging it outside in and then inside out right there getting bodies to it and good job fighting off the block trying to get a piece up to slow them down uh, but uh, right there again power out of unbalanced right here on this look four is in empty and they're running a quarterback trap over here to the right they're checking it because they like the box count and you really have it on here because this is literally the worst thing that could happen when you call power that guard trips up falls directly in the path of the running back now the quarterback's stuck having to run around some guys and you got a free DN right there they're running uh, that trap uh, just like we talked about but just put that on here man I'm sure some of you guys have had these same things this is a you know a great athlete division one player starting for a top 10 team and they do probably the same stuff that you've seen you get you young guys do uh, right there falling literally in the way of the running back causing a big pile and probably the worst thing you can see when you're trying to run power right there